phone island from my head to my feet When I step on the street, I don't know what it costs, but I know it's expensive She told me she loved me, but really I don't even know if she meant it And if it's all this weird, that's numerous offences You finished? <laughs> yeah. Like I hit it in We loud, David. Put down loud. <laughs> 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 Alright, so welcome to another episode of Culture and Sound. I'm Danny Farahimi, once again with the boys. Uh, boys, quickly introduce yourselves. Yeah, Cole Sanusi, Colin Sanusi. Gang. Hey, man. E man. Perfect. That was that was quick for you. That was brief. Yeah. Man. Last time you gave us like twenty brief. names. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So um, same as always. Uh, chapter times in the description below. Uh, today we'll be discussing. First of all, why is it so hard for group chats to go on holiday? Um, or why do group chats make it so hard to go on holiday? Second of all, um, we'll be discussing. Um, Everything that's happened within the UK, really, just from the election to Grenfell Towers to the recent attacks, just everything in a nutshell. And then we'll be closing out. We're just discussing the culture, so everything that's going on from XXL to Black Panther to um, XXX Tentacion, who's a very interesting artist at the moment. So, so, how you say his name? You said it correctly. Yeah, right? I think I did. I, I don't know. I mean, no, I don't know how to say his name. So, <laughs> X uh, Gas. X, X Tentacion. Ah, ah, ah. It's a horrible name. That's why I just call him Triple X. Yeah, it's the best just, thing to do. Yeah, because it's, it's an awful nickname. But <laughs> Vin, <laughs> man, that Vin Diesel, uh, Fast Eight. Oh, let's not get on. To that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> without further ado, here's the first topic. Some of you, for the first time, are going on holiday as a friendship group, but that's not even, like, a quarter of the group going. So what do you no. think makes it so difficult for us to go on holiday? You know what I think it is? Two words. Black people. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's not even a thing. No, it's, no. It's, it's, it's really not a thing. No, it's, it's when not, one it's person not. says no, and other people agree with that yeah, person. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. when it all turns off. Like, basically, 100%. for example, you might have, like, you might find the sickest holiday, best place... Like in terms of location, the best hotel in terms of. And then someone will say, "I don't like the food in that country." In there, no, 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 it's, <laughs> like, it's, like, it's like so trivial. And, and then the, the next person, story. yeah, we we'll just turn around and say, "Why don't we find somewhere cheaper?" The oh, thing is, I'm straight go- away, yeah, <laughs> in your mind, you're gonna think, "Yeah, I want a place that's cheaper, hundred yeah. percent cheaper." Yeah, like, well, can't find a hundred percent cheaper, but the percentage of like how the the cost and everything is a lot cheaper. But you're just like. But this is the best place. Let's go here. Nah, I want to find a better place. I want to find a cheaper place. It and then that's where sense. and it's no vision. Effect. Yeah, that's when the division happens. Yeah, Everyone's yeah, like, yeah, no, nah, yeah, I don't want to yeah. go. I don't want to go. And people take sides. People are like, oh no, yeah. Nah. It's it's when it's like a really good price, and it's just like, how do I get anything any cheaper? Like, yeah. if we get anything any cheaper, it's like this place must be illegal or something. Like, it's beyond me. And I just don't know how people think that way. But it's just when you try and organize stuff in the group chat, it's just like you get no response or people will just completely disagree mm. and the thing is it's so hard because it's so hard to get like a particular time when everyone can be exactly. like that, that, you know what yeah. that's a that's a great time for us to go that's the biggest issue timing it's but you know i stand by what i said black people man okay no no not black people but kind people and bro, general, we look yeah. at all the groups that we went to school with like the, like the white people from our school they were every going year, every year they've been going, going to go holidays go yeah, 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 since yeah, we going. left school we have not done it yet what's our issue like and they'll get a massive group together as well that's and it'll be like they'll be just 10 like, they'll be literally double digits of them and yeah. they're all going to like 10 oh, of them and they're, and they're done they're going so Ibiza, for my groups are doing their thing come back it's, it's embarrassing Pushy. sometimes it's like how come we can't get ourselves together as grown men I, I, I don't like, know how are we going to do this in the future it's because we just like conflict in our group maybe it's just our group in particular i don't think so because it's just like you don't see other groups just randomly, spontaneously going away. No, true, true. It's really hard to just get people together and be like, yo, let's do this on this particular day. No, not not, not even holidays, just like going to cinema or anything like that. Like, for example, we may book one time. This happened to me, yeah. We we'll all book one time to go to the cinema and then go to the restaurant the next, like, straight after the cinema. Yeah. No, nah, we want to go early. Like, even yeah, when there's, there's, there's always like, someone who like, chucks something in there. Your whole entire day, like, this is like a week's notice, so you planned your whole entire day for that time, and all of a sudden, my man wants to change the schedule. <laughs> and then, <laughs> that's really some awkward. people yeah. might even agree with it, and it's like, 
how 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 are you gonna deal with the situation? Like now? my life has been planned around this particular event. Are you adding, so somebody, in, are you adding someone in particular here in the, in the group? No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no names. <laughs> no names <laughs> are getting dropped. Right, no no names are getting dropped. But <laughs> it happens. Anyone can do it. You know, the, like the ones where it's like, ah, uh, they really want to come, but they're working. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. all of a sudden, it's like, ah, oh, you know what you say. Uh, I want to come. Can you guys change the time? And you're like, no, I can't. Because exactly. everything's yeah. been planned already. Or like, just randomly, like, you're about to buy the tickets online and they're like, oh, no, no, dead that. There's, there's something wrong with the seats in that one. Yeah, there's no seats there. You're thinking, brother, there's three seats available. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Like, nah, yeah, it's, it's, it's just it's awkward. Or people are like, oh, I don't want to sit too close to the front. Let's go at a different time. It's, just, <laughs> it's impossible to plan stuff with people, it's, man. It's hard. But th- to be fair, there's a lot of us. So that's something we have to take into consideration. The fact that there's so many, there's, there's bound to be someone who has an issue or another obligation, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so. When there's loads of people, the more numbers involved, easily, the more harder it becomes. Absolutely. Because it's just like, how do you please that many people? You can't. It's no. th- and it's the same thing with the holidays because different people have different opinions on where they want to go or exactly. what they want to do on holidays. So, for example, some people might just want to relax. Some people might just want to turn up all the time. Exactly. So it makes it very difficult. Yeah, that's definitely true. How about you? How have you managed to go on holiday so many times in the last few years? To be honest, I've not gone with Made in Chapel, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I've not gone with Made in Chapel, that's it. That's a mad thing. Because, not like... Looking from that side... We all know my friends though, but like, we all know each other yeah, because we're all in the same course. area. It's just exactly. the fact that whenever we want to go on holiday, like, I will even tell you, man, listen, there's a holiday here for you, man, to come through. Someone will say, no, I don't want to do it. But right now we have organisation that's... That's really set and everything's done. Mm, but yeah, this one, yeah. but this one person wants to disagree. So we're like, cool. That's right. just you. And then we have us, we have our stuff already done. So in terms of a holiday, that's it. The only problem with the issue with this holiday with, that we're currently going on is that two people dropped out, and one person he just wanted to drop out because he says, oh, it's best if you go on this time or this time. But the thing is, like the time's already been. I set. think that happens a lot. Like people just come up with like randomly will just drop out of like holidays. I've seen that happen so many but, times. Yeah. So I know that it puts you off going on holiday. Yeah. But it's just like how out of nowhere. Like yeah. So that person was just moving a bit different, and then and the other guy like he he well I'm not gonna explain the situation, but you know certain situation happened and you know he didn't he couldn't pay for the holiday. Mm. So that it was like alright cool. We can we can allow that to happen, but um, yeah, it just puts you in such a predicament, isn't it? Yeah, it, it puts you in a very bad position. I think I don't know, but just, looking from the outside in, why do you think like the group chat can't go on holiday? It's just disagreement because mm. it is disagreement. Absolutely. Like once disagreement. once a place is set, location is set, hotel is set, dates are set, like everything is packaged together. And everyone agrees, then it should be fine. Mm. As soon as one person disagrees, that's when you throws everything into limbo. A can of worms, <laughs> and that's it. Everything gets thrown into it just limbo. Just makes it worse. And then it? that's where some people will just have to sit at home <laughs> and watch on their Snapchat. Yeah. My question to you guys now is: Do you think we can actually do this? In the next do you know what? That'd be years? a great challenge. Like, I actually think the only way this is going to happen, yeah, is if someone gets married. And what we all have oh, to go right, around. We have yeah. to fly out to wherever the place is. Um, the only place oh, yeah. 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 No, but, that, but the thing is, that's not necessarily a group decision. That's more of a person's yeah, decision yeah, with his spouse. Fair enough. Spouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think how hard it was to get people just to go to Newcastle. <laughs> <laughs> we can't even get these people to go <laughs> to the is, country. I, <laughs> the is, I, that's I, wrong. I couldn't go around that time because I didn't have the money. So I even said straight up, like, I can't go because I don't have the money. People have the P's, you don't have the P's. But people just sometimes, like, it's just difficult you know what i mean mm-hmm. like i've now i've been this person you know and a lot of people say they're down for something and it's like you have to question are you really, are you really like, i've had to sit back and think i've always said yeah if a holiday arises i'll be up for it but i'm not going barca because you know yeah, I, yeah. are you that serious like if you could if you wanted to go you'd make you the means make to go exactly. yeah. yeah and i think for you like your headset was so I'm going on holiday this year. I don't care. Yeah, Whatever yeah, yeah. I have to do, I'm going to make it happen. Country, and th- I just feel that's that's a huge part of it. Do people, you've got to ask that, do people really want to go on holiday? Exactly. You, you know need to I mean? make sure you, the person who has put it together as well is somebody who you know is going to be going, mm-hmm. even if the people around them doesn't go. Mm-hmm. If I a think person it's has a huge, initial idea... It's a huge mindset thing as well, because yeah, black yeah, people yeah, don't yeah. have, like, 
going on holiday in their minds, you know what I mean? Because exactly. we're so hard working. A lot yeah. of us have yeah. come from situations whereby there's no time for holiday, you know what I mean? Why are you taking vacation? Exactly. Yeah. Whereas, <laughs> whereas, we're not white to rest. People, whereas white people, they've got in their mindset, like, I if I work hard, I'll save up for the two holidays like a, a year that I deserve. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, whereas yeah, we yeah. just don't have that mindset at all. When I used to work in re- retail, yeah, um, like the people I used to work with, they used to grind all year. And in the summer, it's like, oh yeah, like can't wait for the holiday. I'm going, I'm going Ma- Mali, I'm mm. going Magaluf. Like they will literally put all yeah. their funds into all them two points. weeks. Mm. Mm. Of them going hard, and I mean, it's, it's like, like a, cult- it's a you, cultural you thing as well. Crazy? Like yeah. Me, yeah, I was, I remember when I went Magaluf, horrible place to go. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Magaluf. Oh yeah. Hey. <laughs> <place to go. laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I remember, I remember when I went there. Yeah. Like the amount of money, well, I didn't have enough money, but. That's another story. Um, I saved up my money for like what? I feel like one a great episode in you just telling us the stories that you just don't finish. When he comes back from my beef, <laughs> yeah. give us the lowdown. <laughs> What's it? Um, I saved up one month for it. Yeah, just 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 for just for my relief. But yeah, no, I mean, I I literally don't understand how you can have all year and then spend all <laughs> your money on, on that just one because holiday. even yeah. even even to we're going to Ibiza. Basically, like there's this there's like there's this thing like where you buy a bed. It's, it's ocean bed Ibiza or something like that. Yeah, it's costing like you have to like it even says on the actual website you have to spend one grand. Yeah, so I'm thinking. Wait, I'm gonna spend one grand to stay there for three hours. Like, like, I'm <laughs> mad. Wow. But then, that's wild. if we deep it, like, if you stay there for like the whole entire day, just order some food, order a couple of drinks, you'll be fine. Exactly. But you want to go out and about and enjoy. Yeah, and what, explore, you really want to enjoy saying. yourself and just gonna smash. So no, yeah. one grand, that's not me. But yeah, I think that's just generally it. Like, it's because we don't have it in our thing. mindset. It's a, oh, it's, it's a collective, by the way. It's not like one person. So like, yeah, yeah. it's not really going at the moment. It's yeah. just a collective between the lot. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough, man. It's that whole there's rats at home mentality, man. Yeah, we've heard it so yeah, much yeah. now that it's like, oh, there's holiday at home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then even then, it's still hard for us yeah. to like get something together. Because I was thinking, all right, if we want to go away, let's take baby steps. Let's go in and let's go and enjoy a weekend in yeah, Manchester or Liverpool or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which we've done though. We've done that. We do, yeah, we have. We're taking steps, man. I guess so, yeah. Maybe because also we took certain decisions that made it harder for us. So we fo- uh, we decided to focus on our education, a lot, a lot of us. Exactly. And because of that, you know, maybe now that we're working and we're in certain positions whereby we can afford to do these nice yeah, things, we'll, we'll I'm sure over the yeah, next yeah. year or two we'll see it change. I think... 1,000%. In the next two years, max, we'll definitely all have a holiday. Yeah. Going to Japan. Oh, man, like... Japan if we go to Olympics Japan, I'm easy. ready. Yeah, man. Um, but, yeah, I think... It'd be amazing if you get all fourteen of us in the group chat to just be like, "Yo, we'll make it happen, guys." Let's we'll do definitely it. Definitely make it happen. But that's that's a tricky one, man. You know what we need? This is goals, right? Right. I think it might be a couple months ago that massive picture with like eighteen black people yeah, all just wearing on, that, yeah, all those like yeah, yeah, outfits, yeah. just chilling by all these places. We have to take a group chat photo for, for that. Like yeah. that has to happen in our lifetime. Yeah, so that's the goal as well. That's the I think goals. that's 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 the perfect way to end this topic. I think that's that's exactly what we want. We yeah. want to lovely group chat photo in a perfect setting where we can just you know feel appreciated and loved and you know, you know what I'm saying? get our melanin popping you know what get, I mean get the cans out as well get the cans <laughs> <laughs> bloody hell we stop get the barbecue out Steve yeah, that's what I was saying Julie we got to get the barbecue out get a couple cans in as well huh? fire up babes yes it's lovely come on hurry up you slag shoot your man Get the cans oh, out, Jamie. Five degrees, eh? It's five pages. Shut up, you're like, what? Hey, shout out to some of the comedians. Oh, Hannah's and Wendy's are hilarious. But, um, yeah, I guess that's that's it. That's the aim. We, yeah, put, yeah. It on, we put it on the show, so Culture and Sound uh, takes the boys made in Trafford on holiday. That's yeah, got to be it, man. Let's make it happen, lads. For Come sure. All right, uh, so, uh, next topic, we'll be discussing... Uh, the situation that took place in Grenfell Towers. Here is a news report reporting on what took place. There is no lift in this situation. There is only the stairs. The stairs is smoke, it's dark, it's scary, it's trip hazard. There is fall hazard, there is all sorts. There's elderly, there's children, there's disabled people. It's all sorts. Of, there's luggages in the stairwell. Right. You know, Damn. even some of the stairwell, uh, some lights were not working. So it was so dark in there. It's, it's incredible, it's just, it's incredible we survived, so many people. 
Alright, I guess we just have to start by sending out our condolences to yeah. everyone involved in the Grenfell Towers, man. It's just been a crazy few day, uh, few weeks, really, for us as British people, starting from everything that took place in Manchester, then obviously you had the London attacks, and now we have the uh, everything that's taken place in Grenfell Towers, which is just so sad, and it's just proof of like how bad a situation or living situation that those people were in because it shouldn't have been that bad and it's everything that the government is getting its way is that you kind of feel like they deserve it yeah it's true mm -hmm. um very much so especially um because me whenever whenever something happens such as the manchester attack the london attack now this i really don't listen to the news within the first 12 to 24 hours due to the fact that they could just be pushing anything mm. on the on the on for people to just see just so they can get so they can be the first yeah denzel washington did speak about this but that's i've been doing that way back just because i don't really believe anything that's on the news so currently at the moment in terms of the grenfell tower situation they said that just a lot of false narrative isn't it false narrative they said that 17 people died i think mm -hmm. what they have done is 17 people have been identified mm. but there's several hundred people missing currently yeah. at the moment, especially the local people who know people who live in that tower. Um, well, Lily Allen spoke on it. Yeah. Yeah, like just the whole fact that there can't be that many people, obviously there's that many people confirmed dead, but it's got to be in the hundreds, really. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the fact that, um, the fact that a lot of people are just family members and stuff like that, like they know that they live there, but nothing has been done, nothing has been said about it. Like, so a lot of people are worried. Why is the news not saying this? Uh, secondly, why Theresa May has just gone into, has gone to the actual place. Theresa May is trash. Like, that's yeah, just, that's the yeah, yeah, that's, that's trash. trash. Get out. Uh, Corbyn soon come. It's just, she has handled this awfully. This has been one of the worst two weeks I've seen from a politician in my lifetime. Definitely. Just awful. <laughs> Um, just the way she's handled everything, like she didn't even go to the people. Yeah, you know, she, she I didn't. didn't even, she well, did. who did she go to go see? She was exiting a church or something. She gave a statement, but it wasn't necessarily. It yeah, was a, it was only. Was it a mess sort of statement? It was more. It was just very like robotic. Like you can just tell it was kind of like someone drafted up for her to read. It wasn't yeah. heartfelt. You could tell she's not reinvested in the whole situation. She's not about the people. No, and it's just no. it's showing now. That's what you know. When she came in, I thought, oh, wow, you know what, well done. This is a competent woman who's been in politics for a while. You know, it seems like it made sense. It seemed like she was the right choice. <coughs> but just as a year has gone on with her being in charge, it's just been shocking. It's been proven to see that she's really made. not the right decision. Especially, especially when Corbyn came in, I think, I think it was a day before, maybe two days before, and he went to the people. Yeah, he went and he spoke to them. Especially if this is a political move and you want to increase your views and stuff like that, even though it's really... Sketchy? Nah, I don't want to say it's sketchy, but like you want to improve your... Even though it's part of your job as a yeah. politician to make sure that you stand out to the people. Yeah. But I, I mean, feel like the, that's Theresa May should have like actually been there to talk to the people yeah. and stuff like that. Jeremy Corbyn was out there. Yeah, away. I feel like that's, that would be... Even if Jeremy Corbyn wasn't a politician, he gives off that vibe that that would be something he'd do anyway. He yeah. would have gone to those people and been like, what help do you need? What can we do? You know, he was out there. He was being real. Like the mayor was, was there as well. The mayor of London was there. Yeah, yeah. But Sadiq's on job. Like Don't has been as well. I mean, yeah. it's been a difficult few weeks to be uh, the mayor of London. But I've been impressed with <laughs> what he's, he's done. Situation. Even with the attack from like Trump and trying to like spin a narrative of what oh, happened. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Moments, he still managed to get all of London behind his side because. I mean, it's hard at this point to be a, a politician and deal with all the things that's been going on, but it it's shows character hard. going to people and seeing firsthand, like, what has actually happened. Yeah. And, I, and being somebody like Theresa May, who, like, you haven't really even been elected to be in this job, and you've not even done a due diligence to go to the people mm. who have been affected, it speaks a lot on you. Yeah, very, very much. So, very much. Just a liar, continuous liar. Yeah. Said if she doesn't get six seats... Um, she, step down. She'll step down. And, then and now, 12 seats done. She's still here. She's, she's still here, you know. And she's linked up with the DUP, who, you know, is a very questionable <laughs> party. Just continuous things that she's doing. It's, it's just it's frustrating to see. And the media as well has just been 
awful recently. Really just, has how, yeah, like like I've said, I mean, the first twelve hours I really don't listen to the news. I don't pay attention to the news or whatever happened. I mean, partly because the news is really depressing, mm. so I don't really watch it on a regular. So when it comes to situations like this, I really do my best to stay away from the news. But social media, I mean, it gives out first-hand information, whereas the news is just trying to find out any information and give mm. it out straight away. So, like, there was a lady, she was complaining that, you know, she hasn't watched the news or anything like that, and she was crying due to the fact that she doesn't know anything about her friends who are in that tower but she's just out there volunteering mm. uh shout out to the people out there who are volunteering well, yeah, and giving 100 percent to help the families out there help people who are homeless currently at the moment because they have nowhere to stay uh the people around london who are giving up those people to uh, places to stay and stuff like that those people i mean congratulations to you you're really doing your job i just hope london just stays tries to stay peaceful stay strong, we could easily find ourselves in a riot 2.0 and yeah. you know you can already see the frustration boiling from the people and as they have a right to be frustrated Absolutely. because it's been horribly handled in just the way it's, the, the politicians have gone about it uh obviously Theresa may being the main one that everyone's going at but i just want i just hope that people can stay calm because as they, calm as possible they obviously have every single right to be angry and annoyed and protest like they're doing you just don't want to see that can't let it boil over, boil over mm-hmm. exactly Cause, yeah because i don't work too far away from what happened in kensington like, mm. literally that's where i am every day yeah and i saw the um increase in like um police and like just like presence people there was a lot of it was really busy in that area yeah. i see a lot of people crowding around and stuff on my way home from work on friday so What's the, area area? Like, what's, what's the <coughs> feeling in the area? That to be you honest, think? you can tell that like, people are just, everyone's discussing, even at my workplace, yeah. people are really like trying to get active and put things together. We had mm. emails at work like saying if you want to donate, you can. Um, it's just it's just a sad feeling, I, I guess, in the community. Cause, it's like, just, it goes to just show, you know, sometimes the, the building was mostly made up of people of colour and it just makes you feel even worse like, absolutely oh, they really don't care about a certain demographic it's just like they, they've done there was problems with the building the people complained and said like yo this the infrastructure is not great exactly and they did nothing didn't, didn't and then when up. people have died mostly people of color who, who are the ones that have suffered which not gonna lie one thing i wanted to say though this thing that they're all saying about oh it might have been a fridge that exploded or something like that i don't know about all of that but what I do know is they did regeneration last year to that building that they're talking about doing to all of these buildings. They did it to that building only, 10 million pounds they're talking about, and put these shoddy plastic things on there that set, set up a light because they want more reasons to knock these blocks down. There's two options. They could either regenerate the blocks or they could knock them down. And after that, I'm, I'm not so sure that was totally an accident. I'm oh, not even going to lie. Like, I'm, I'm not even going to lie to you. You could, you could pause me there, but I'm not going to lie. The whole yeah. situation that's going on in you this area, like, the, way that they, you, they you like, us, the way that they don't oh, want yeah. us here, and they put those, those rich man's blocks over there, and then they tell certain man in Frinstead they can't even go into that, that section. That's outrageous. I can't lie. The way that they, they treat man in here is terrible, isn't it? So... I, 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 I understand. I, I can't even. What people are complaining about is, yeah. it's all well and good, the building looking nice, but clearly the people in there aren't safe. Exactly. exactly. And especially if safety is key. Especially with the figures that came out with, um, I've I really forgotten his name. Um, yeah, I think he was a lawyer, and he went on the BBC News, and he was talking about how eight million would have only covered for the panels, but 300,000 would have covered for the sprinklers. They didn't, have, they didn't even have sprinklers in that. They didn't have yeah, sprinklers, they didn't have fire extinguishers and all that. That's just like a basic... And that's 5K, like... like right, surely in there. So, like, already They just don't want to spend an extra 5K, isn't it? Yeah, it was 5K, 300... Well, 300,000, 5,000, 5, that's... It's a massive fuck 5,000 mm. already. It's a massive fuck And all you want to do is make the building pretty for 8 million. It, I mean... It, it really comes to show it's just negligence that someone's got to go to jail completely negligence. that's why people are going to the streets and rioting yeah like, i feel like i'm not sure if this is true so you might want to have to um uh, fact check me yeah but, uh, apparently tories were uh, like signed against mm. um actually it was a legislation uh, they, yeah. they turned around Things. and said they didn't want to put the, that legislation uh, forward because it would have been too it would have been too much in terms of the legislation um I don't know how to say it, but um, they didn't want to put it forward because it would have been too many legislations yeah. towards just that. Defense, so they said, defense. no, they're not going to do it, which means the houses would have been a lot unsafer. Um, the Brexit as well, the fact that we left the EU, 
there was another statement saying that the EU's uh, legislation in terms of housing would have been a lot safer mm. if they followed the, the 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 regulations and stuff like that. They didn't, so it's pure negligence. The government yeah. have to, at the end of the day, the government have made have have a role in what has happened. Yeah, even like very, very much so. Take, even with the um the um the, the services like the, the social services like the fire um fire, fire police service police, police they, they wanna they wanna make cuts and I don't understand when the well, situation cuts already they've made they're 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 so continuously making cuts, continuously cuts. Making cuts. Yeah, exactly. and it's situations like this where you think well we need our, our Yeah we our clearly services. need uh, the help and all the help we can get. I saw a tweet saying why is there helicopters chasing around little kids who have Bags, um, of bags of weed when there should be helicopters here trying to pour out the fires that yeah, could exactly. that happen it's it's honestly ridiculous I haven't really got words to explain what's happening no, it's, it, 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 it's know, insane it's such a shame and well I think Manuel touched on it earlier but just well done to all the people who are exactly. donating yeah, so. and doing all they can and well done to the people who the lived firefighters in the, who yeah, helped firefighters, as well. to the people who actually lived in the flats and are showing such like strong togetherness and solidarity because you hear amazing stories like a uh, girl managed to take her GCSE chemistry notes and went in and actually sat Still the exam it. like yeah that's incredible you just hear phenomenal stuff and it just shows how strong human beings can be absolutely and you just want them to remain as strong as possible it's just a shame that it takes a situation like this, this yeah 100 that's what I, especially especially with um the London attacks for example, I say we should probably get the London attacks. That as well, the London I, attacks. I know this has been like a long time ago, but the riots as well, um, they were all understaffed. So, mm. like, even even with the fire, even with the fire department, they, I believe, I would hundred percent believe that they are understaffed as well, mm. due to the fact that when it came to the riots and when it came to the London attacks that recently happened, places, for example, like Metropolitan Police, other departments around the whole of London had to come together to help this situation, to make sure that this place is relaxed, make sure that the place is heavily guarded and stuff like that. So with the London riots, I heard that um, Essex police had to go to London just to help, help out, cover the suppress yeah. the riots and stuff like that, recover and everything like that. So there's a lot of things that's going on with the government where they're trying to just cut so much spending, but then... It's, how comes, it's having an impact. It's yeah, it's clearly things we need. And just that's why it's, it was a very interesting election, and I just think, yeah, uh, Theresa's days are numbered. And the more we see how bad of a people person she is, and how poorly she handles situations and crisis like this, she's gonna be out of here very soon. Um, and very much so, I believe so. It's not necessarily because you know you want the country to be stable. You don't want to be having a new potential prime minister every five minutes, but. It's just the way I think the cookie's going to crumble in this situation. Absolutely. So I guess just final thoughts. Final thoughts are, well, for the situation, you know, condolences to everyone who's lost lives in this situation. Um, London stands strong. I mean, it's been a very, very tough past, like, two, month, three weeks, yeah. but a month with the whole London attacks in areas where you wouldn't think, you know, things like this will happen. But, mm. you know, we shouldn't lose our heads. I think overall we've recovered from situations okay. Yeah. If anything, we've recovered harder from the terrorist attacks. No, I'm sorry, we've ha recovered harder, harder from the Grenfell attacks compared to the terrorist attacks because mm. the Grenfell attack just could have easily been prevented. Prevented, yeah. yeah so I think that's why everyone's frustration. That's why we're like, so mad. So we got we got to get our country right first, and hopefully it can reflect on the rest of our of, of, of mm -hmm. you know the country. So yeah, uh, pre pretty much the same. Um, really and truly, the government they they have. They have to take full responsibility in terms of what's happened, how they could have prevented this, um, what are they going to do within the next two years to make sure that this doesn't happen again. Mm -hmm. um, also, what are they going to do in terms of regulations, legislation? Also, how are they going to fund the people who are homeless currently? Yeah. Because are they also going to fund the, um, the funerals? Because recently, I mean... They've just confirmed 17 deaths, what, well, 30 deaths so far when I checked my phone. But, you know, there's a lot more people are missing, so we yeah. don't know what's going to happen. The situation is, yeah. And we have no clue what's going to happen to the building. I don't know if it's going to be a new sky rise or whatever, mm. but um, I hope that it's going to be another building, but this time perfect for the people, mm. not just for any person who's trying to splurge out and stuff like that. Because I know it's in West London, and West London is very close 
well, it's in London basically, and that's like just a hotspot in terms of mining yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Like that. Kensington, that's that's an area for all of that. So yeah, so there's a lot that needs to be done, but yeah, shout out to the people who are definitely out there definitely. doing bits. Yeah, I think we would just all like to send our condolences once again to the people who have suffered. Obviously, we know it doesn't change the situation. It's no. a horrible situation to be in. I can't even imagine being in that situation. I just feel just hopefully the news you know report facts that's one thing don't and don't do disgusting articles obviously i saw the it obviously started with a fridge that's what they're saying um, and then i think i can't it might have been the daily mail just daily did, a, mail, did right. a horrible article on them it's just on the person who at was whose home it was it's just was i just hope you know the news report the facts and just hopefully we won't see this sort of negligence again and i think you know just to conclude this is this could be the nail in the coffin for Theresa May as Prime Minister. You know, I don't think people will look on her fondly after this. So, mm. yeah. Um, once again, we send our condolences to those involved in the Manchester attack, uh, mm. the London terror attacks, and obviously Gren mm. the Grenfell Towers. Tell me something. What do you know about Wakanda? It's a third world country. Textiles, shepherds, cool outfits, all the front. Explorers have searched for it. Called it El Dorado. They looked for it in South America. But it was in Africa the whole time. I'm the only one who's seen it. And made it out alive. Freshman list XXX Tentacion getting punched in the face. How can punched in the face? Oh, yes. <laughs> so, have you guys seen the Black Panther trailer? I feel yeah, like you're yeah. gonna let me down and say you haven't seen it. No, I have. Okay, good, good. Yeah, well, good what people? <laughs> <laughs> have you seen it like 10 times, bro? I've, I've seen, oh, no, like, I've seen it 10 times. Have, have you seen the meme where it's like, um, what you wear into the film. Yeah, <laughs> this is everyone's like tradition. Yeah, everyone's in tradition. Oh, it would be so it. life if that became a challenge, but... Yeah, no, oh, yeah, that was great. People you know what? Yeah, we we'll encourage that. Go to the Black Panther um, film in traditional. We have to make this the highest grossing film of all of time. Of course, of course. Have to. Got to push, I've seen it four or five times. Even if it's that god awful, like, I'm yeah, barely... I'll it. just buy the ticket and I'll just leave. It, no. Have to. It's just, it looks so good. It looks like, amazing. I'm so glad they really have the balance of, like, um, technology in mm. there because yeah. obviously Wakanda is like a, a, a North Tanzania kind of yeah. um, what do you mean? Shut up. That's the way it is. It's in North Tanzania. What do you mean? Wakanda's a kind of North Tanzania. It's in North Tanzania, yeah. Is this it's confirmed? Not, it's not confirmed. No. Wakanda's actually in Nigeria, so I don't know what this guy is talking about. Hey, my Nigerians. How do you come to let, let us know where you think Wakanda is. We think Nigeria. Are you For some dumb? reason, he thinks it's in. Um, no, are you dumb? Uh, How? <laughs> Give us our, give us your receipts. I need to see some receipts. Can't just Google it. Uh, we'll discuss and no. then you can get back to us. But yeah, you discuss. But they, they really decepted the whole Nigerian like um technology and everything. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are chatting rubbish. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. On a, on a real though, like, how did you come to that conclusion? No, hold on. Like, what what have you seen in your life that's made you think, oh, that's where it's set? 
Wakanda is fictionally based in Yeah, nowhere. it's a fictional It's just place. a fictionally, <laughs> fictionally based place. fictionally based in North Tanzania. No! North <laughs> Tanzania, bruv! Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Chadwick Boseman looks um, West African as well. Yeah, where's nah, he from? He looks, he, he, no, he looks like my cousin. He's, cousin, he's Tanzanian. Is he African American or is he actually like? Uh, he's um, African American. We've African been surname like Boseman for sure. Oh yeah, that's a yeah. that's a given. That's so, a yeah. given. No, it, in in regards to the trailer, I felt oh, like phenomenal. it was spot on. They got everything right. They didn't give us too much. They were really focused on the actual setting of Wakanda, setting the mm-hmm. vibe. Get all the main characters in. Lupus is in there. Um, Michael B is in there. Are you gonna hurry up it with this? Good. Right, so Wakanda is located in north northeastern Africa, although exact location <laughs> varied. The nation's publication history. Some sources place uh, Wakanda in East Africa, just the north of Tanzania. Well, I'll be damned. You best be damned. <laughs> you best be damned. Hold on. <laughs> well, you said, why are you? Why are you nah, saying, he's Tanzanian, you, bro. Why are you saying it like it's in? Tanzania. That's how you was advertising it. He's North Tanzanian, isn't it? No, nah, no, nah, that doesn't count, though. That yeah, doesn't count. count. No, basically, uh, no. What's hold the jewelry on it? What's this the on no, 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 this no, no, right, is the history of Africa. Basically, is just a bunch of tribes. Yeah. So what kind of would be a tribe itself? Right. Right. Why are we getting into the nitty gritty? It's just no, a good no, trailer. No, no, no. Listen. Yeah, we're, we've really diverted. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 in, it's in Tanzania, okay? Yeah, don't worry. It's not in Tanzania. Um, Tanzania. Wakanda is a separate nation at the current moment, just as a city. But it's in the universe. Yeah, yeah. But it's in North Tanzania. But the MCU one version is based in Nigeria. So, <laughs> in the trailer itself, they go for a lot of stuff like. Everyone gets a like action shot. Yeah, like, it's a um, very action heavy trailer, I feel. I like, I like the way, what's his name? Uh, Michael B. Jordan. Yeah, because when I look when I look at the comic, like it's just completely different character. You're thinking, how on earth are they going to pull this off? But yeah, the yeah. way they've done it mm. is superb. Absolutely, so superb. far it's superb. I don't know about the film, <coughs> but the way it's looking, the patterns, especially the one with the the green yeah thing, thing in his mouth, isn't it? yeah, yeah. That looks sick. That's it's uh, it's amazing that they incorporated that. So don't even know how to do that. But it's just they burn, they burn the lip and like they grow it every. But I don't time. think that actual actor did that. No, of course they put makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I see that <laughs> That's, that's, that's not makeup. makeup. That's, that's a real. That's imagine CGI. doing that like for the role, like being so dedicated. Like, this is my chance to blow. I'm gonna that's go wild. for that's 110 percent. That's wild. No, that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, it, it looks nah, good, it's man. phenomenal. Great trailer. I think some real highlights. Michael B. Jordan with coming through with the braids or plaits or yeah, something. Yeah, the dress fan. Done that. It's not Dread, this Dreads. Okay, Dread Gang. I need to pull out a picture. Um, yeah, go for it. It's be- loads of receipts today, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I, what I, what I want to say is, like, a shout out to the um, person, even in Civil War, whoever created the suit oh, for, phenomenal. The suit for Black... Brilliant. It might yeah. have been my favourite suit in the MCU that, yeah. period. It used to look so sick. And I'm glad Marvel are taking risks and fully diverging into this African culture that 100%. needs to be brought to the forefront, man. Because they could have been half-hearted with it. Definitely. And but they've gone for it 110 percent, which is makes it even more beautiful to watch. Yeah. Um, it's just great entertainment, really. And I feel like just some of the little snippets we got of the action scenes and what we we can look forward to, yeah. like when they're shooting at his suit and it's just like he's unfazed by it, uh, yeah. or when he does the backflip off the SUV. Just it looks really, good, man. I f- I think what's it like? Just judging, just judging on the trailer. I think that's his dad. In like the jungle where the dog barks and then they look at the black panther. I think that's his dad. But isn't he? Isn't he that dead? Yeah, but like that's Maybe just like it's a flashback. A, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay and gosh, then yeah. the one where he's dropping off the uh, SUV is actually yeah. him. That's actually him. But that's the so main. You see, like you see, like the difference in eyes and stuff, bro. His new suit is just is different looking. Mm. So, but I think yeah, as you said, the suit looking all Christmas gift. Like it's, it's not. <laughs> It's not like that black latex stuff. It's nah. definitely. Yeah. It looks legit. Yeah, yeah, What's the yeah, name yeah. of the material? It's a certain material, uh, isn't it? Vibranium. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why that guy from, um, it's not Age of Ultron, was it? Yeah, he got yes. he's getting interviewed right at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, I've been to Wakanda before. <laughs> and he's laughing like, I see you guys. I see you. That's a conversation between Gollum and the Don from, oh, what's that? Of course, yeah. The Hobbit. Oh, God, the Hobbit is bad. But, um, the less said about that, the better. Yeah, but no, I'm just happy that we've got a good show. And you could see on Twitter, people were just people so loved it. Man. Yeah, and that was what I wanted because it could have been corny. Because the poster they dropped first 
was a bit like, mm, oh, no, nah, I thought it was a bad poster. It just looked like that he was photoshopped onto it. Why didn't yeah, he use pretty much. Because when I saw it, I was thinking, oh, wait, is this, is this like a joke or something? Yeah, it, it looks, looks like concept art, doesn't it? Like, yeah, kind of yeah, like, yeah, not, not the like, fight finish. Yeah, pattern. it wasn't, it didn't look finished at all. Post on, no. But, um, no, when the, when the trailer dropped here, yeah, you dropped it in the group chat. Yeah, yeah, It's like, no, this is real. I was like, Five times Literally after the yeah, yeah. like, Ronda Jules was playing as well. I Ronda think they got Jules, it. Yeah, oh yeah, my gosh. Ronda Jules definitely. had to be used for that, man. Nah, that was such a perfect song as well. Yeah. Like, and I've heard the original song. Is, I already, like, I'm a fan of some Ronda Jules songs. Yeah. But, like, that, that song was perfect. perfect and it's just that, at the end, that little, just the instrumental when it's going off. It, uh, yeah, nah, rings off it's that. perfect. I mean, the only thing I would have preferred, maybe if the song had been by a mumble rapper, you know. Chat little Uzi on there You would somehow. have heard you would have heard <laughs> XO Tour like that <laughs> trailer. Lord have mercy. I should have been my friends who didn't know. I would have turned off the thing straight away. <laughs> no, you would not. <laughs> no. You would have watched that trailer. No, I would have been angry. I can't I even lie. I would have been like, why are they doing that? No, I would have embraced it. I can't even lie. Hey, look at me over that. <laughs> that could have worked. <laughs> nah, no, no, What mumble rap songs could have worked on that? Or what rap song that at the moment could have? Truth be told, I don't even know. You're I'm just glad they went with so. something that was a bit like left, yeah. but it, it fitted the whole kind of vibe. It, yeah, it fitted the vibe. I couldn't agree more. Yeah. Well done to Under Jewels. That's a yeah, that's shout to a nice Mike, check, man. Hundred percent. Yeah, done though. Uh, but just so much has happened in the last few weeks. Th- that obviously that trailer was brilliant. Mm-hmm. Really enjoyed listening to that. Um, not listening, to, watching. watching it. Yeah. But I think obviously Double XL Freshman this came out as well. I don't know. And this is there. the first time where we Except felt like we're old. I person. feel old, guys. For the first time, I've seen our list, and I'm like, no, we're all the same age. The people on the actual bloody thing and the us, we're all the same age. But it just feels weird the fact that we only know three of them or four, like that. We've really oh, maybe that's their fault. I like, think maybe it's not us. I think it's both sided because there's a lot of people who I feel like if they were on there would have been like, yeah, yeah, I understand that person being mm. on there. But those people. Definitely Nav, really Black, Nav, Black, um, like last year's cover with Lil Dicky. I, think last year's I didn't cover. know who Lil Dicky was, and I saw um, his song featuring Brain, and I thought that was like the, the funniest video <coughs> I've seen. <laughs> Pillow talking, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then there's Twenty One Savage. That made sense because of the co-sign with Drake and whatever. Of course. Lil Yachty, because of Broccoli. Lil Uzi Vert because I, well just he's, the, he, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's done a lot off, yeah, last yeah, year yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, like yeah. him but he's done a lot last year why don't you like Lil Uzi Vert moving on <laughs> um, who, who else was there Kodak Kodak yes Kodak as well because of um, yeah, Kodak was just I think a lot of those they were just popular at the time yeah, it yeah, made yeah, sense yeah, like yeah. last year Defo made sense Skr- yeah Skr- 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 uh, Skr- what's yeah 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 oh it could have been no flopping Depends. And her flocking as well. Yeah. yeah. Which is a great song. Of course, man. Um, but yeah, what Just, were you saying? Yeah. Um, no, I think that last year's one was... It was a bit off. It was like, we, we don't understand. But then... No, last year's one this year, made way more sense. It made yeah. sense. But it, it made sense. It was, it was, yeah, it was a bit of a shock. But it, it made I sense. I thought that last year's was the right thing to... I couldn't argue with it. You know what it was? Sense. I feel like... I don't know what it is, right? It was like... It's, it was an actual... It was a cipher. What for everybody? When everyone heard them rap, yeah. we were all like, "Okay, this is trash." Mm. But when we saw the when we saw the list, we were like, "Ah, right, yeah, it makes sense." Yeah, but we knew that li- last year was. N- n- I wouldn't say anyone here is a great rapper. No, 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 no. I know, Maybe but, except for yeah. Denzel, Denzel Curry, uh, Davies. Um, oh, what's the guy oh, from Davies? LA? That's Bruh. that's a really good. Is really talented as well. I'm talking about I'm just trying to look top of my head. Oh, he's got a really weird look. Anderson Pack. Yes, Anderson Pack. I think those three can really rap, and Lil Dicky can really rap actually. But this year, I just don't no know, one, man. no one can I, a really, really rap. No, no, the, only, no. the only person that could probably pop this year, but I still feel is going to be a one hit wonder. His ex, ex, ex. Now Playboy Cardi's got in the bag as well. Cardi's got Magnolia. No pun intended. Magnolia is ringing off. <laughs> one punch. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get onto that. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I, just, I feel like it was such a... This, it was a, just this cover is so bad and there's too many one-hit wonders. And Mune's not going to be here next year. You don't he's think barely so? here no, this no, year. No, 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 no. I, I, I really do believe he's going to be here. You think? I think he'll be here. Be here. Yeah. And I'm not listening to him enough, but from what I can see from the outside, so people give him, give him credit where credit's due. For what? Do. I don't know. I mean, he's, I he's, that, he's, he's done the remix, he's done the remix with Missy Elliott and uh, AJ Tracy, is it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he recently did a song with Charlie Wilson. 
doesn't mean anything though. No, the song bangs up. I'm, I, it, the song can bang all at once, but it's not like furthering his career. I feel. All right, cool. You'll, like, see, you'll see him within the next. You'll see him within the next three years. That's what I'm saying. You think? Yes. He has. What's his other song out now? Uh, Red Mercedes. Oh well done. I thought I was going to catch you out there, but. <laughs> Did you know he had Red Mercedes out? No. I don't listen to him, but, but I, I'm trying to get... A, get I, I kind of look from the outside in at this point. I feel like last year was my transition into really looking at the culture and saying, you know what, I can't really fall over hype train because a lot of these artists are trash, Yeah. yeah. To, be, to be genuinely honest. I think that... I don't know if you could put that coloured guy on the, on the list. The one that's... But he's a singer. Oh, really, Location. Yeah, yeah, the guy who sings that. I don't know. Well, they were good, they, people wanted Black on there. And now... And he's, he's a... a they, yeah. Yeah. They, all three of them should be on the list if they're really going to delve into that category. I think... I would I would be surprised if Black rejected it. Because um, that, that's also a thing that happens. Now, rumors, rumors Young M.A. rejected it. Rumors. Yes, no, that was confirmed. Really? I don't know why. She needs all the help she can get at the moment. <sighs> I don't know if I... Um, it's done. No, she's we, done. She's, no, she's done for... You'll not see her within the next five years. Yeah, it's done. It's a shame, man. It's because she didn't capitalise. She just I felt like she just got lazy. And she put out an EP when really she should be putting out an album. An album, yeah. That was that is it. I mean Hot Sauce is a great song. Uh obviously she has Ooh, which was what uh, teleport uh, catapulted into her career. Yeah, um yeah. but after that I just feel like I dunno, it's a hard person to defend. I would even have Cardi B over younger mate. My wife. Like, my wife, you already know what time is. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Get that money, man. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's like what I said to you guys earlier. Hard work um, pays off when talent isn't working hard. Exactly. Is that, exactly. And Cardi B is working hard, non-stop. And, she really is. You know, taking advantage of the opportunity she has. Okay, everything that happened with the situation with Lick and apparently Offset wanting 250k for the future. But that's still a big look. Like, like banter. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> yeah. And they were dating. Offset's Romance. trash. Offset's trash. Romance. He's Romance. not trash. He's not trash. He's no, not trash. no, he's trash for that. I, I mean, I, I like him, but for, that's wild. <laughs> I haven't made him money because the bitch wasn't ready. As Takeoff would say. Mental but, yeah, just... Romance. She keeps putting herself in the right situations. Mental. I think she's be- she would have been the better option than both the... Females better than Kamaya and better than what's Kamaya done other than please, 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 please. That, that's what she's most known. That's for. the only thing I've known. I don't, that I don't know how she got that look. I mean, okay, the person backing her is one of the hottest rappers out right now. Yeah, yeah. But I, I don't think it's enough. I think she literally got that because of YG being her co-star. Fair enough. And YG was on the list at some point. But the thing is, I think she's. I, don't, I have no clue who she is. But in order to get on a YG track, well, see, there's too much then, of that. I'm not I'm finished with I'm just saying, there's too much of, I don't know who these people are. Yeah, yeah, legit. Yeah, so, in order to get on the YG track with Drake, then you must have done a lot. True. So you don't, no, you're doing the right things, but what I'm saying is that's the main thing I for know. For a lot of people who don't know who you are, then, yeah. That's so who do, we, who, do we, who do we mess with on that list? Who do we feel like deserves to be there? I, I like, like the X. Triple X deserves to be there. I like there. X, um, and I listen to his... Mixtape EP is sort any of thing. Good? Would you recommend? Uh, Revenge, right? Yes. I've, I've not uh, to no, it. I wouldn't because you really have to have an ear for that. And I feel like I even enjoy some of his harder stuff. But I don't know if that's just me embracing his sound. I don't know if I said to you guys, oh, listen to it. I don't know what you'd come back, your feedback would be. So actually, maybe just out of interest, listen to it. Because you know what? How I see him, this mm. next guy. I see him. Do you know how the whole rebellious sound was created? Again, with the manifestation of All Future. Yeah, yeah. Tyler, the creator, came out and ca- created Golf Wang and all of this kind yeah, of yeah. borderline satanic stuff. Mm. And initially, you put people off straight away, like, okay, I don't mess with that. That's the kind of same vibe I'm getting from X. But when I eventually gave Tyler the due diligence, I've realised kid's talented, yeah, clearly. Yeah. And he's not, really, he's not really about the messages that he's trying to put out. Hence why X was even like, I'm not actually a satanic guy. Mm. It's just... The, for some reason, the crowd he that cultivates seem to just drive off of that. Yeah. So would you say his talent is, if you actually listen to the music, his talent you're gonna is his fan, I think he's just that's most of music. Feel. That's right. it. I think he's just most. I think that's the reason why most yeah. of these people are doing very well. It's just because they go to they go to any festival and they just want to have a mosh pit. That's it. Yeah. But they have a natural one. They don't have a forced one where everyone says, "I right, get in a circle." Mm. Like. You go they to just the do it naturally. They just do it naturally yeah, just because they want to do it naturally. But that's what I said. I feel like X's biggest attribute is his fan base. Because even despite everything that's happened to him over the last few months, he's still... It's just growing. 
Like, yeah, actually, is. all I the controversy yeah, is making him more, more famous. Right. Academic said something really interesting. He said, "The longer he stayed in jail, the more look at me grew, it did. and the more his fan base just seemed to explode." Yeah. I mean, literally, he has no like his fan base is phenomenal. I, I don't think anyone on that cover with him has as big a fan base as him. I agree. And the other one I messed with is Playboy Carti, who I you know I listened to his project. I've, I enjoyed it. I took it for what it is. I mean, the guy speaks fluent ad-libs. I have no idea what he's saying. On Magnolia? On any song. But I love Magnolia. I, 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 can't, I can't help. But All I, I know is the chorus. And you're coming really well. How did it must suck? What? Just, that's, that's it. <laughs> I catch Cardi, bitch. That's yeah. literally all I know. Cash Cardi. Wet. 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 <laughs> nah, but it's, it's I think those are the two that yeah. I enjoy the most. So just, after that, I don't really know who people are. Uh, no, I know well. PMB Rock for the hook on that Kodak song. Yes. Um, that's it. It's sign of the times, man. But I say that every year. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's just a bad list. Some yeah. lists are just genuinely bad and there's nothing you can do I about it. I just don't know anybody on that list. That's it. But are we just behind? I don't even think it's age. It's not a behind thing because the internet is so. The so if so we wanted to know these people, we could. So I, yeah. I also think it's on them. I just think XXL made a bad list. Yep. I think they should have put Famous Dex on. Uh, I heard, about, but I heard Famous Dex like has a lot of controversy outside. But everyone has a lot of controversy. Oh, I think the reason the they was there complaining about the lady. That, uh, he's he's <laughs> that, he's a that nuts, woman. He's like, like no, she didn't put me on the list because <laughs> what happened last year when I beat my girl up. Like, as if that's, justif- as if that's not justifiable. But no, I, I, I tell that lady, like, but then you, you didn't even congratulate me or anything like that, but such a fat lady. It was like, bro, I'm up. not defending being up girls at all. We don't. I don't But I just want there to be consistency because X, X, X is on did there. The same and thing. he still has to go on trial for it as well. Oh, well, they, see, I, that, that, they lied clearly. I think the only reason she came up with that excuse was because she wanted to excuse the fact that oh my gosh, we didn't put Famous Dex on. I don't think they expected to get the backlash they did for not putting him on. Right. So they had to have a reason. So they said, yeah. oh, it's because it was on video that he beat up his girlfriend. Uh, but you kind of let XXX on. If we're going to do one video, gonna not, do one there's still pictures of, of, of X, the girl. X beat up. Of, yeah, yeah. Like, there's, there's evidence of it. Yeah. So they should they can't hold it to the same standard as yeah. they are with Famous Dex. But I know there would have been a ridiculous amount of backlash if they were to leave out Triple X. Compared to, I mean, Famous yeah. X is still getting the traction for it. But, yeah, yeah, you know. But I, I, I enjoy Famous X, and I, I, I think he's oh, definitely yeah. quality. I mean, he's, he's definitely quantity over quality. But I feel like he works incredibly hard. He tries to put out a song literally like every two weeks. Yeah. Put, put, and he's always feeding his fans. <coughs> it just would have been an interesting person to put on. For sure. I think out of all of them, though, X probably has the biggest trajectory. Yeah. It just depends how he decides to um, just grow from it, really, and mm. try to get out of trouble and not get punched all the time yeah. or get thrown into barriers. Yeah, well, that too. But I just think... <laughs> it's going to be friends, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> nah. from, from, I, from, you know, I've always went to crowd surf, yeah, just for mm. But after Wi-Fi funeral, just... I don't know what happened. Why <laughs> did they do that? <laughs> And then I see everyone joins in, yeah, and then I just <laughs> see his legs fall to his chest. And the worst thing is, <laughs> and then he goes in. They had the audacity to hand him back. Yeah, like, and then basically you just stare like this, just. <laughs> That's a wow. Nice one. Wow. Hey, people are crazy out here, All man. This shit That's man. wild. Damn, no. I'm never gonna cross over my life. Should, I guess we should get onto the whole trip. Yeah, yeah. Situation. I mean, does that mm-hmm. hurt your career? That one bang and you're out. No. says uh, that don't be beefing with people don't be internet beefing because uh, you don't know most of the people you're dealing with exactly so when when my guy was gripped to the right oh my god therefore and then just <laughs> out there just in his element. 
Oh. That guy ran so fast here. He that ran quick. You know that people make gifs of it. Even a gif. You can't him, really see. You him. can't catch the frames. Yeah, you can't. You can't catch the, the first yeah. frame is him just half there. Yeah. The next frame is his head, his hand, and his his face. You I can't believe it. Bro. It's it's unreal. Like, that was wild. It's got to be one of the greatest punches. And he only got one hit. Like the thing is, he tried to do like the MMA when you punch someone and he just bang bang bang. Yeah, yeah. But he got one hit. Next thing, but that one hit was life changing. That hit was enough. Yeah, yeah, it was enough. It was enough for a lifetime that hit. One hundred percent, it was enough. But the thing is, like, you, you people need to understand that. Listen, you just don't go beefing people just because. Yeah. This, this, and that. And you can't call people out in their own city. You know, yeah, it's only going to end. Yeah. Badly, yeah, yeah. Well, Drake's done that several times, but. But that's a yeah. yeah but look that's, how much. That's actually, to be fair, I was going to say look how much security Drake. No one's going to run on sure. stage and punch Drake, Drake in the face like that. Oh. Someone tried to slap him in the club. Who hasn't? Didn't, did he slap him? Did, in the he, club? Yeah. did, he, did he rocked him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, black eye. You know, yeah. it happens, but you have to be smart about where you do it. But, yeah. you know, on that on that situation, I just feel like X needs to really just think about the money now because mm. he's in a situation where he can project his career and these petty beefs with rappers who might not be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's gonna yeah run exactly. Yeah. And yeah. he's definitely going to be here for a while, so it looks like I don't see why he got involved in all that, but it's crazy. He is. Got time. No, I think I think it was just this. I think it was just like say it with your chest, kind of move like yeah, don't touch my boy, this this and that rah 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 on the internet and like yeah, yeah cool cool. San Francisco Falcon punch. That oh, Frank, that ah, oh, it believe, was man. no the connection <laughs> was sweet as well. Captain Falcon would be proud. <laughs> Captain Falcon would be proud. Out, <laughs> it was cold. Out, Finished. cold. No, it was unreal. But um, yeah, just to conclude on everything that's gone on recently. It's been an interesting time. Yeah, man. Just stay, stay safe, you know. Don't call call people out in their own city, and make sure you wear your traditionals to see Black Panther, isn't it? That's it. So do better. Definitely. <laughs> North Tanzania. North Tanzania. That's the name of this. North Tanzania. <laughs> <laughs> Never been. I don't know if I'll ever go, but shouts out to everyone in North Tanzania. Yeah. Shouts out to Big our very own Tanzanian. Got a Tanzanian yeah. correspondent. <laughs> Yeah, man, G45, no safety. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how are we ending the show? You with our sleeper hits? Yeah, so we've got a couple songs we've been listening to recently. Um, we have three songs each we're going to present in our little mix. So you will hear it on our SoundCloud link. And yeah, just vibe with it. A couple artists from where we're from. Chafford, as always. You already know. Big up to Mr. Richie. Uh, big up to D1. And yeah, and a bunch of other songs that we've just been messing with. But yeah, hopefully you guys like it. And yeah. That's about it. I think yeah, that's mm-hmm. the best way to end the show. Uh, boys, just tell the people where you can find you online. Yeah, man. Um, Cole Sanusi, C O L E S A N U S I. Just follow me on Twitter, really. I don't really use everything else that much. But yeah. Uh, Eman G45, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. That's it. Pretty much. <laughs> um, you can follow me on Twitter at 2 Dems and be sure to follow the whole movement um, yes. at Made in Chafford. Yes. And uh, yeah, just thank you for watching and more great content coming your way soon. Oh, friend! Oh, new friend! Hey. Oh, friend! He's my friend! Oh, friend! Oh, friend! Oh, friend. Oh, friend.